Can you still read some stuff to you? It makes it legal for us to talk to you, okay? Um, so like I told you when I met you at the jail, my name's Eric. I'm a detective here with Broken Heart Police. Like she told you, her name's Rihanna. She's a detective also. Um, and uh, we just want to spend some time, maybe talk and discuss some things. And maybe ask you some questions, let you ask us some questions. And make sure we're all comfortable with what's going on. And then we'll go from there. That sounds good? Okay. So you've probably heard or seen this on TV before, but it's your notification of rights, your Miranda rights. And so I'm going to read them to you, but I want to sit here where you can see the paper, because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read one through five right here. And so I'll read them, and you kind of can look at it with me. I want to make sure you understand all these. Um, you have the right to remain silent. You do not have to answer any questions or make any statement. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before we ask you any questions. And you have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, the court will appoint one for you before you are asked any questions. Um, it's hard to read it sideways. Um, if you want to answer questions now without a lawyer being present, you may do so. You have the right to stop answering questions at any time. So you understand what those are saying? Yes. Basically, if you want an attorney, just tell me. Um, if you don't like any of the questions I ask, just tell me to stop. Um, if you get uncomfortable, we'll stop whenever you want. Kind of, you're in control. Does that sound good? Okay. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to read this waiver to you right here, yeah. and you look at it as I read it to you because I'll make sure you understand it. Um, it says, I have read the statement of my rights shown above. I understand what my rights are. I'm willing to answer questions and make a statement. I do not want a lawyer present at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure of any kind has been used against me. So if you agree with that statement that I just read to you, that you're looking at, if you'll sign right there for me. I don't know how well I can do my signature. Yeah, just whatever you can do the best. And then if you will um, read and answer one through four for me. Put like high school. Yeah. Yeah, because you had said you graduated? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's all we need. So you put high school for your formal education, yep. and are you presently on any drugs or medication? You answered no. Are you under the influence of alcohol? You answered no. And you do read and speak English, obviously. You put yes. Yeah. Sound good? Okay. Um, do you take any prescription medications? Well, man, I'm, you know, I just kind of got thrown into this, so I was hoping maybe you could kind of just go back at the beginning when all this started and kind of tell me what happened because I need I need kind of the details so we know and understand what what you went through and stuff okay so I, I always start mm -hmm. okay about like uh, two months ago okay is when we first uh, really started talking so when you say we who are you talking about me and my brother who is also your yesterday. brother yeah who's he has to do with me and what's his name uh, Robert Pepper. Robert okay and how old is he uh, 18 okay Alright, go ahead, sorry. Uh, a couple months ago, I think we got to the start this year, we started talking about uh, voodoo and rampage and stuff like that. Okay. And I didn't take it seriously at first, but then he started buying like uh, body armor and stuff. Where did he buy body armor from? eBay and Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, legal. Does yeah. he have a job? He did at Mike Tech, he quit the start of the year. Um, and uh, basically, it just kept escalating, he kept getting ruined, and he asked if I went in, and I said yes, so he got me my own set. Okay. And then, about a month, about like June 30th, is when he came to me and said he found out that he can legally buy guns without permit in Oklahoma, that he could. Okay. And uh, that's when he started planning. And, um, Did you... Now you said he bought body armor, but you kind of said like a bunch of stuff that he bought. What else did he buy besides body armor? Um, besides body armor, knives, 
and he was in the middle of buying guns and ammunition. I see. Okay. Where, where did where did he buy the knives from? He did. Okay. So he Can you them. tell me like how many knives or what they looked like or anything like that? I think he had about three normal knives and then one small can of packs. Okay. And then um, the guns. Where did he start buying guns from? Um, he bought them online. I think the website's like Bud's Gun Shop and it's all right. And he bought two blocks, two block forty one. And um, and a shotgun. I forget. It's like a box food, I think. Oh, okay. But the box off of the website called Buds in the shop, I think. Okay. And he bought the box food off of the official website and then had them shipped to um like the Okinawa gun, the Okinawa gun club. So they were actually a guy now waiting for him. So they were going. They were shipped to to a gun shop here in Broken Arrow. Yep. Okay. And they were. Where is that gun shop? Do you know? Um, he said seven miles away. He was planning on biking up. Okay. It's like um, in I think it's nice to get mall. It's like a good gun shop. Okay. Or something. And um, then he bought, I think it was like two hundred and fifty shotgun rounds. Okay. On eBay, not eBay, but on some website. On some website. And then I think he bought close to a thousand rounds for the box. Wow. Okay. And uh, but he still. Oh, so he was supposed to have to take those up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was supposed to pick them up today. Um, and where was he supposed to pick those? By uh, the ammunition. It was being shipped to the house. The guns were the open now gun shop. Okay. Do you know what his um, eBay uh, user was? No. No. Okay. I just didn't know if you'd ever been on eBay and shopped or anything. Uh, well, I, I used to a long time ago, and I like now. Not all the stuff. Right. So then, uh, so, so he was buying weapons because mm -hmm. you guys had talked about murdering. Yeah, and he started planning again. Okay. And I went along with it because I see the other way. I thought I wouldn't want to do it. I very quickly learned tonight that I didn't. Okay. That you didn't want to do it? I don't want to do it. I didn't, um, just because I didn't kill anyone. Okay. I stabbed. Someone. Who did you stab? Um, my younger brother, Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. How old is Christopher? Um, nine, I think. What did you stab him with? Um, my knife. What's your knife look like? It's green, um, kind of like camouflage on it. Um, where your hand goes or where the blade is? It's camouflage? Yeah, it's it? all camouflage. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. How big is it? Show me how big it is. I think it's about this big. Okay. Handle. So what was, what was Christopher doing when you stabbed him? He was laying on the bathroom floor. Robert was also stabbing, and Robert asked me to go over and help him. So I stabbed Christopher, and then. Where did you stab him? Oh, side of the neck. Really? Okay. You okay? Yeah. yeah. You okay. Let me know if you need a break or anything. Okay. I'm good. Um. So was Christopher still alive when you stabbed him? Yes. What was he saying and doing? He was just screaming. Screaming. Was did you say he was in the bathroom? Yeah, I was next to the toilet. Um, that bathroom. Who else was in the bathroom? Oh, I think I think Victoria might have been in there. But I both. Victoria. Sure. Yeah, my um, four-year-old sister. Four-year-old. Okay. Um, I want to talk about that more, but I, we got to try to kind of stay like chronologically, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's go back real quick. Um, we're talking about the ammunition being delivered. Uh, making plans. Tell me more about making plans and what you guys talked about. Making plans, we all plotted every night, and I started realizing we were actually going to do this thing on the second night, and so I started getting ready. When was that? You used the second night, what do you mean? Uh, July 1st. Okay. Because we started June 30th. That's when you started making the plan? Yeah, that's when we found out you could buy guns legally. I see. Did you guys draw, make drawings or write things down? Or? I think he had a journal. Basically, I think he's under his down. I think it's under his bed. Under his bed. Check there. Is it like a, like, like, like a journal, like a notepad, or like yeah, a book? Yeah, it's like a it's like a blank book. Okay. A black book. I think it's like a little case. Or so you think he wrote stuff in there? Yeah, I think he was planning in it. Hmm. Um. So then the second day, you said that's when you realized that it might actually happen. Yeah. What made you realize that? Um. How serious he was. I mean, he was going through, he started, um, he started planning on taking all of his money out of his uh, bank and 
throwing away stuff, throwing mm. away all this stuff, so you know. Why did he want to do it? To uh, kill people? Yeah. Um, well, t mainly two reasons, I think. It's um, because he just, like, he says he hates everyone, he thinks society is pointless, and so okay. he wanted to kill people. Now, and also he wanted to, like, beat, um, beat the kill, like, amount of other famous people like Columbine and uh, James Egan Holmes. Okay. Did you kind of feel that way too, like when you guys were talking earlier, like... Yeah. I, it, like, do you have a problem with society too, you think? No, no I just... Or you were just more like the, the number of people getting killed was kind of interesting and yeah, exciting? Yeah. Okay. So, because um, you mentioned a couple names of, are those like serial killers or something? What, like Columbine? Yeah. I would call him back in James Egan Holmes. James Egan Holmes is a guy that shot at the theater. In Colorado? Yeah, he killed 12. And, uh, wow. How many were killed in Columbine? Columbine? I don't know, like 15, okay. I think. Um, so did you guys have a goal? Did you have a number? He just wanted, I think he wanted to kill like 50. Okay. I, I have a goal. So how, okay, so as the planning goes, tell me, so tell me what what plans you started making and coming up with. Well, originally, I think kind of stayed steady uh, throughout the month. Is so we wanted to kill everyone at the house first, okay. and then wait for all the packages to show up over the weekend. Um, and then we take the economy to have our state with the guns and uh, still okay. slow killing rampaging. Did you know where you were going to drive to? Uh, towards Washington. Washington State or DC? Washington State. Washington Why would you go to Washington State? It's kind of the yeah, it's kind of the direction we planned on. And you said Yukon. Do your parents have like a Yukon? Is that what it is? Yeah, okay. it's a large uh, Yukon XL. Does Robert have a driver's license? He has a motor scooter. Okay, so, so he would be able to drive it. Yeah. Can you drive if you, I mean if you had to? No, I couldn't. Well, you can play video games. Really, you can drive a car. It's a Just not very well. I mean, you could get it from point A to B. You might hit some things on the way. But, okay. <clears throat> um, so you had your plan. Mm -hmm. So then, so what happened after, I mean, tell me some more. Well, I think everything started falling in place. Kleenex right there. Yeah, Kleenex right there. There we go. Or maybe it's from your finger, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, back a week before is when I thought I'd start feeling way useless stuff. Okay. Yeah, indeed. And so did he. Did you guys like give things away to friends or anything like that? Or threw it in the trash. I'm just sure a lot of it's still in the barrels in the big garage. In the garage. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stuff did you throw away? Random stuff, toys, you know, stuff that was just piled up in my closet and he had the room to put the body armor. Oh, I see. And old shoes, clothes. Did you have, how long have you had the body armor? The body armor? Robert's had his place since it started ago. And we've been buying it. Well, he's been buying it. Did, um, and was it, it, was it shipped to the house? Yeah. Do your parents know? I mean, did they know it? Should they have? knew he had bulletproof vests. They always thought that it was a little wild, but they yeah. didn't say anything about it. Did he have anything else, like the, the gear that the guys wear, helmets or goggles or gloves? He yeah, had a soft Kevlar vest, a heavy, um, I don't know, it's like a metal plated vest. Okay. A little theater, a little theater. He had a a helmet, bulletproof helmet, a bulletproof DEA mask, and a lot of Wow. Also, like a like knife proof arm um, thing. Yeah. Wow. Like a knife and a you know, ball of lava. Okay. So, yeah, it's nice. And then your, the body armor that you had, what was it like? It was almost identical. Okay. Just a couple of different, you know, different models and stuff. And where is your body armor now? Well, my vests and my helmets, it was laying in the woods. The dog pulled it off of me. Oh, wow. I was wearing it. Oh, you were wearing it? Yeah, I was wearing this sort of fest in the plate cabinet over okay. the helmet. So I took that, and the rest of my body all was still in the closet. Okay. So then kind of what happened is, I mean, you guys started getting all that stuff together, and yeah. you throwing things away, and... Yeah, and we knew when the, all the packages, and the holsters, our bars, all that stuff was going to get out from Amazon. And so we set a date. So was the plan... Um, to use the knives at first on yep. the family? Because the guns weren't going to be here till later on? Yeah, and the guns would be too loud. 
Oh, I see. So, um, going use the on family, which obviously mm -hmm. did not go as planned. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I just sort of know what so it's my man. Like, we didn't put more people out there. Yeah. Did, um, so then you picked a date. You said. Yeah, which was yesterday. Yesterday night it was the date. Did you pick a time and everything? Yep, yeah, midnight when most of most of you was in bed except for mom. So how did you guys know? He just came and got you, or you got him, or what? You we, we, we were hanging out in the old bedroom waiting. Okay, and so. How did you pick the date? Um, we were eager vaulting out with the packages and stuff would be out because you know all the ammunition. He didn't want them to see that, so we killed him the day before the ammunition would get out. The day after we leave. Do you guys? Mm -hmm. Um, do you guys not like your mom and dad? I mean, is there, are they, I mean, I'm, most teenagers don't like their parents, so I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, mom's okay, but dad was a little bit, you know. Just a little bit too much. Yes. So, you guys wait in the room, mm -hmm. and was it right when midnight, and that's when things started? Right at midnight, um, my sister, uh, she came in, because she was going to get to go to bed, she came in to tell us. Um, How old is she? 13. Okay. She came in to tell us that mom wanted to get the kitchen done before we went to bed and put the cats up. And basically, we did what we planned. I, 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 I got to my desk and I like, had to look at something to this. get to roll up and went up behind her and grabbed her and slipped with you. Really? What did he use? Um, his lunch, red knife. Okay, a large red knife. Yeah, it's like my own. Is it? It's like my own red. Right? Oh, I see. Um, and then she fell to the ground screaming. Mom and dad, you know, mom came in first and then she was Is your room way. upstairs or so? I don't know, I haven't been um, in the house, so I don't know. Her room is downstairs, it's towards the back. The okay. House. And so she fell down and started screaming. Yeah, when well, I kept stabbing her, I kind of freaked out because, you know, Mm -hmm. I wasn't planning on this. Were you saying anything or, I mean? I just stood there. Okay. And then mom came in yelling, call the police. And then he went over and stabbed her. Then he stabbed her? Yeah, he probably stabbed her, pushed her, you know, foot down the hallway. And she got up and ran. Okay. She ran out the door. When, now, okay, so she sat down at your desk. And he slid her through it. Well, she was standing at my desk and oh, came up behind and slid her through it, and then she fell down screaming. And then he stabbed her some more? When he was stabbing her some more, was it, where was he stabbing her? Her neck. Oh, her neck. Her neck and her stomach. Stomach, okay. And, um, and then my mom came in and she started yelling, called the police, get dad. And then he came over and started attacking her. And he actually got up and ran out the front door. Wow. And um, once mom was on the ground, he got up and started chasing after her. And what were you doing? Standing. Did you come out in the hallway? No, no, I was just standing in the room in the process. I don't know what I was doing. So um, he stabbed your mom with the same knife? Yep, same knife. And where did he stab her? I think in the neck, too. Okay. And, um, and, no, actually, he stabbed her in the neck, pushed her into the kitchen, and then together. So like with you, she started screaming and ran into the family room. At the same time, he fell I left the house. Okay. I went over and disabled the alarm. Okay. That's what I did. And then Where's ran, the, the pad for your alarm? It's not the front door. It's what? It's now the front door. Near the front door? Yeah. And I'm, so I went over and disabled the alarm so it wouldn't, you know. But has she already gone outside? She went outside and then I went after her. So where where did she... Uh, she she was laying in the driveway and he to go over her back. Um, you know, the bench, you know, if you the road, okay. and start choking her. Like and the, on the bench? Out yeah, front? Yeah, it was like a little bench, and he threw the bench on her, and went back inside to go after the little kids. Did he bring her in, or did she stay out there? She stayed out there until he asked me to be in her, and I ran out, I had to go her inside, that's why she was in the, um, in the way. I had to go her inside. She oh, you still, brought her back in? Yeah, she was still alive? Yeah, she was still screaming. And then, that's about the time, Dad came down. Okay. Because his bedroom's upstairs. And he went back in the police area where Robert was. The police area, that's what they call it. Um, oh, no. um, and they started attacking there. They got a little bit of a fight. Um, but then eventually Robert got him down and um, I think he killed him. Did he cut his throat too? Um, where did that happen? In our room. In your room? Yep. And uh, where were you? 
I was standing in the hallway. Okay. So did you see him cut your dad's throat? Yeah. Did he stab him other places too? I don't know. I think he just went for the field. And um. And where was she? Was in the entryway. Yeah, she was. In, I think she was in the entryway at that time. And then um. And then he went in. And uh, Daniel was in uh, his room, which is you know down the hall. And I was oh, like, let me. How old's Daniel? Oh, um, I think it's I think it's twelve. Okay. And um, I was like, let me in, and he let me in. He was sitting down on the phone with the police. I grabbed the phone, you know, which is my phone, I got my phone. And then I went into the kitchen and I smashed the underground. So, which was your phone? Yeah, it was my phone. Oh. Now you don't have a cell phone anymore. No, I don't. <laughs> um, and then I went back down, and he um. And, Daniel and Christopher. Christopher locked himself in the bathroom. Daniel locked himself in Dad's office. Okay. And then I finally got both of them to open the door um, because they thought I wanted in there. To but they were in different room. rooms. Yeah, they were right next to each other. Right? Oh, I see. And then um, Robert went in, stabbed him, and they went in and uh, stabbed Christopher. That's when, that's when I stabbed Christopher. So when he stabbed Daniel, where did he stab Daniel? I think he um, shanked him in the neck, and then Daniel ran off, and so he went in. Started attacking Christopher. So Daniel got stabbed in the neck and ran off. Yeah. Where did he run to? He ran into the family room. About mom. Mom ended up. She was lying on the ground yelling, "Call 911." Okay. And, and he stopped in there. Yeah. He lay. He collapsed in there, and then Michael came in and started stabbing him in the chest. Oh, I see. Um. Then. And then who's and the youngest? The four-year-old. The four-year-old. I don't know what happened with her. I hope she's alive. Right? I'm sorry, maybe I, I messed up. The, the one that you stabbed, who, who was that? Christopher. Christopher, that's what he's I'm trying to say. He's eight. Ten. And he was in the bathroom. Yep. So Daniel had got stabbed in the neck, ran out mm -hmm. to where your mom was. Yeah. He, Robert followed him, stabbed him some more. Yeah, after, after we uh, stabbed Christopher in the bathroom. Oh, I see. Okay. And, um, and then basically after that, Vina uh, was pretty much dead. We forgot about all Who was dead? Everyone, one, I think. Okay. It looked like they were dead, except for she was lying in the interview screaming. Then there was a knock at the door. Oh, okay. Someone knocked at the door. I think that might be the neighbor, because the police wouldn't have been there yet. And then they just kept knocking on the door. So we turned around, I grabbed on, uh, put my soft vest and heavy vest on. I was carrying the plates, I put my helmet on. And then we went up the back door of Dan's office, climbed over the fence, went down into the park. And started cutting through the woods. Okay. Oh well, we both collapsed. I think so. I was we were just sitting there, and they found us. That's how you got kind of dirty and stuff, dirt on you. So you guys collapsed. Or were you just kind of hiding out? Yeah, we were just laying in a little ditch thing in the woods, and then we saw the light. We laid down, and the um, the dog came oh, over. The dog. Stopped. Did you hear the dog coming? Mm hmm I heard them coming. I saw them coming, and then they started yelling. Put your hands up. Mm -hmm. you know, I stepped on my head and handcuffed me. Okay. Um. Can you kind of, okay, I'm a little bit lost, I think because there's too many people in this house. Um, there's you, there's Robert. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're 16, he's 18. Then who's next? Yeah, she's the third oldest. She was the first one. The okay. Man. And then Daniel? And then Christopher. And then Christopher. Mm -hmm. And then Victoria. Victoria. Then She's four. Yeah, Victoria's four. Okay. And what's mom's name? April. April? April Beverly. Um, unmarried maiden name, I think you call it. It's Sharp. Sharp? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And Victoria's four. Mm -hmm. And then what's dad's name? Uh, David. David? Okay. David. Yeah. And then. Are there any other kids? How many kids is that? Um, That's... Then there was... She's a baby, she's about to turn two toddler. She was up in her bed. Okay. I think I was, he forgot about her. And I think she stayed asleep until the police came. Okay. I saw them give her out, so she's okay. What was, uh... So you saw them carrying her out? Yeah, yeah, I was in the car. Was it the plan was to kill her too, though? We just want to get that one. Okay. Yeah. So when y'all got done at the house, where were you going to go? Um, we were going to hang out there for at least the day. We were going to get like, to get the bodies in a room or something, maybe the attic. 
clean up and then wait for the ammunition, go pick up the guns and think I'll leave the next day. Where, where, where were you going to go? I mean, where was your going to be your mass plan to get the um, most people, the most bang for your buck? We're just heading uh, generally towards Washington State. We're going to uh, do it statewide. Did you guys have, like, like where are you going to go? I mean, who else were you going to kill? Just whoever you ran into? Yeah, pretty much. We, he said five at a time, like gas stations, restaurants. Okay, and then, and then just, just keep going. Yep. Did, um, how, did he have some money saved up or something? Yeah, he had about 480 after buying all the ongoing weapons. Plus, I mean, still had that. Yeah, plus 100 that I had. Oh, okay. So. So we talked a lot about your plans in the beginning, because here's what I don't understand is um, as, you, as you and Robert are kind of planning things out, I mean, because you seem like a really smart kid and that you kind of, I mean, it seems like you had some pretty detailed plans. You guys had good equipment and weapons. And it seems to me, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I would think that as you guys plan this out, you had maybe more specific plans like Robert was going to kill this person and yeah. you were going to kill. So who were you supposed to kill? I was supposed to take my pistol crossbow. Who was supposed to shank his and she was supposed to die quietly. Yeah, she was going to be the first one she was. And then um, Robert would go in, slit arms through, push her over with him. We both go in and crawl. Because it was supposed to be like quiet. Right? Yeah, it was supposed to be with And then I would go upstairs and uh, shoot David, Dad, and the guy with my pistol crossbow would okay. kill him, and then Robert would go over and kill him. Okay. So fun. did you use your did you use your crossbow at all? No. I, I, the only time I ever hurt anybody um, was when I stabbed Christopher in the neck. Did, um, did Robert use your crossbow? No, no, it was just saying the whole time. Where is your crossbow? I think it's on my bed still, unless they collected it. So did you have it out ready to go, and then it just kind of didn't go as planned? Yeah, no, nothing was planned. Yeah. Um, did, um, I think we talked about it, but did Robert, um, you said he had a knife that was just like yours, but it was red. Yeah. Did he ever use another knife on anybody else or anything? I don't think he did. I mean, he had another small surgical blade knife. It's yeah. not like four inches. He said he was going to use it, but... Where was that? In his pocket. Okay. Along, he had three knives. A large, about 15-inch black one. Like a machete kind of thing? Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of like a K-bar knife. Okay. And um, the where, 12... And where was that, the big one? It was also, it was standing on his belt. Okay. And um, the one he used, the 12 inch blade one. And um, then the small surgical blade. Okay. Which you had in pocket. Um... So, who, who all died? Who do you know died for sure? Like, what's the count? How do we know? I don't know. Okay. Who do you think died? Um, Dad, Mom, Daniel. That's, that's not all I know because I saw them. And Daniel's the one that you stabbed? Uh, no, Chris was one I stabbed. Daniel's yeah, the one he went in and oh, uh, that's right. stabbed him in the box. And he was in the living room? Yeah, in the yeah, living room yeah, with Mom. And Christopher, you stabbed him in the neck. Yeah, he was in the bath, you know. So how did, I mean, was he still making noise when you left, or how did that go? Yeah, down? he was still yelling when I left home. They were probably killed him. Um, I think he might have been alive, because later I came back and the door was shot and locked it, tried to kick it down. Okay. Um, which is going to have those holes in that door now. So, um, You kicked it down? I didn't kick it down. Okay. Who oh, did? I tried to. Nobody kicked it down. Oh. It stayed intact. I don't know what to know if he's still alive. Did you, because um, here's what I'm seeing happen. You know, you guys had all these detailed plans. You had all the cool stuff to make it happen. Yeah. And it kind of started falling apart. And you said, like, it didn't go as planned. I think, I mean, did you kind of just freak out a little bit? Like, yeah, this is it, really happening? Well, I, 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 did, I didn't know it was going to like. Yeah, you don't. But here's what's here's what's getting me is like, it's crazy because you guys worked together and made all these plans, and you know had it all figured out. And then when it happens, you're just kind of standing there not doing anything. 
And did you did you decide like Robert's gonna kill everybody and I'm gonna stand here and do nothing, so I better I mean did you is Yeah, that, I think I think that was my point. I was I, I didn't want to kill anyone well who didn't want I couldn't do it. So I was going to let him like kill everyone. Yeah, but you stab somebody in the neck. No, I mean I just kinda of, Well what I'm saying is is it's not Robert's the one that should get all the credit here. I mean for I mean um Yeah well, because, because it's a big deal. I mean you're gonna be on the news. Um, you know what I mean? I don't. People are going to want to interview you. I, mean, I don't want to be in a big with this. Well, but I'm just thinking. He does. Because you, you had said you had the plans like you're supposed to kill this person. Yep. He's supposed to kill this person. Were you supposed to kill Christopher? Was he your responsibility? No. Um, it just worked out that Christopher way. Christopher and Daniel were supposed to be his responsibility. I was okay. supposed to kill Dad. To help with the yeah, but he had already basically done that. Yeah. So now you're left standing there. So were you trying to kill Christopher when you stabbed him in the neck? Were you just gonna? I don't. I mean, I I broke his missed middle of the neck. I think I might have even hit him in the shoulder. I certainly didn't do it hard, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, Your responsibility was Victoria. Victoria. And Dad. And Dad. Yep, that's who I was supposed to take care of. Did you guys talk specifically? Because you said you said the crossbow, so you said I mean you guys had it planned like this is specifically how we're gonna do it. Yeah, it was very specific, unfortunately, you know. Mm -hmm. I think he got his plan to move or something that doesn't work out that way. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be a lot quicker and quieter, I guess. I mean, did you, um, so had your cell phone, is that right? Uh, Daniel had my cell phone. Daniel. I know, I got, they got my cell phone and called the police. So when you, when did you last have your cell phone that you remember? Yeah, I remember, I think, I think it was in my pocket, like either that or I was sitting on the living room couch. Okay. And I don't know when you got it. But so you had... Maybe left it on the living room couch and gone to your room. And yeah. You guys are waiting for things to go down. Yeah, okay, buddy. Did he like ever use your phone or play with it or do any of that stuff? No, he wasn't allowed to. So did he only get your phone because he was trying to call for help? Yep. So do you think he went to the living room and got it? Yeah, I think he did because um, mom was laying in the living room and I was screaming, call okay. the police. And so somehow he came down the hall? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if we got, he might have got the alarm room when I was outside, I was doing off the alarm. Okay. I don't know what was. Do you know what alarm company your alarm's for? Uh, we, we never actually, um, it's the, it's just the alarm, mm -hmm. the sound itself. Just the sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the sign, I think it's ADT or whatever. And are there cameras or anything in your house? Yeah. Where do those record to? Hallways, living rooms, um, another hallway, and, um, is there a, is it go to a computer or something somewhere? I don't think it was being recorded, no. Oh. Just live. Do you not have oh so is there a TV where you can watch it somewhere? Uh, yeah, my dad watches it on his phone. He has an app to okay. watch it on his phone. Watch it on his is phone. that through like the cable company or something? Or? No, I think it's something he set up, like his own server or something. Oh, okay. And you don't think it's being recorded? I don't know if it was being recorded. I mean his computer system like, you know. Super hard to get into. Oh, but is it like a good computer system? It's a good computer system. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's like a database engineer or something. So. Oh, that's right. Um, what, so as all this was going on, what was Robert saying? Did he say anything to you? He, he didn't say anything to me until the, uh, we were getting to head out the back door. I asked him if he was okay, what was going on. He said, yeah. Okay. So you guys were just kind of silent the whole time? Yeah, I was silent. Did you cut your finger? Is that your other hand? Is that... I think, I think I might have no, I think I might have done this when I was to step with the food. Okay. So, so that might be from your own knife is what you think? Yeah, it's my knife. Are you right or left handed? I'm right handed. Right handed? 
And so how do you think you cut your finger? I was gentle. Were you, yeah, were you holding him? No, he was, he, was on the, he was on the floor, but you know, I, I, um, I like to give you something. You don't remember? I cut, yeah, I cut it with my own knife, I know that. Mm. And it was, you think it was during the time when you were stabbing him? Yeah, I that time. Hmm. Did you say anything to Christopher? I just didn't. No. So, so you stabbed him, now it's several hours later. How are you feeling? This whole thing, like, film when you first stabbed to get caught, I think it only lasted about 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But that was like, because it's, it's 8 o'clock in the morning now. So that's like eight hours ago. Yeah. So how do you feel now? I mean, I just kind of... I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I just ran on that. So you were saying you pleaded with, I guess, when they were locked in the bathroom and what, what, yeah, what other um, room were they locked in? Uh, the bathroom and they were right next to it is um, my dad's office, Dan locked himself in his office. Is it just one door to get into the bathroom and the office? No, there right. two doors got next to each other. Right next, like this? Basically. Like, you know, like this. In the corner? Yeah, kind of. And, um, and I, I was like, I said, how old Robert's after me? And they both opened up. In which room did you go in? I went into the bathroom, just, you know, I stabbed Christopher. Okay. But and then what did Robert go? Robert in? went in to the uh, office where Daniel was stabbed and Daniel ran off and they came into the bathroom and started stabbing Christopher. I left. And, um, yeah. Okay. So, I guess where I'm kind of confused is if you didn't want this anymore and you didn't want this to go down this way, why con them into opening the doors and letting this I, continue? I was trying to help Robert. So when you guys um, ran out the back door with all your stuff, and of course that wasn't part of the plan, no. did you guys talk and like, hey, we need to go this way, and now it's high? I think we pretty much knew where to go. Okay. Um, I just kept asking if he was okay, because you know, we acted like he was about to you know, collapse. Okay. Because you guys have been through those woods before? Just... Yeah, we used to play them. Okay. So we knew where to go. Um, and you said someone had knocked at the door. Yeah, that's why we didn't go through the front door in the vehicle. Okay. That's because someone was at the door. And and you said maybe that was the neighbor. I think it was a neighbor. Yeah. But did you also think is it the police? I know if it was the police, they would have uh, they would have gotten into the door because was okay. laying right down okay. in the view of the window screening. What was um, when did you realize the police were there? When we were in the woods. Okay. Um, and how did you know? We heard the, the sirens and uh, oh. we said, then a couple of minutes later we saw the lights. And they heard a dog? Yeah. Was the dog barking or growling or something? It was, it was growling. Yeah. yeah. Pulled me up. Okay. Pulled so at, at the point when you heard the sirens and stuff, were you guys kind of hiding and hunkered yeah, down? Yeah, we had been sitting, we had been sitting no, down. I hope they were behind, behind you. you. Yeah. Okay. To so the ditch. So did, did you guys tell anybody else your plans? I didn't. I, I didn't tell him. I was. I know Rob was talking to people online about it. So how many computers are in this house? This oh I think everyone has at least one computer. Um, there's like uh, three Chromebooks, which Daniel, Perry, and Christopher use. I have two laptops. They use for game design. My brother has also has two laptops. Same type. Mom um, has a tablet laptop thing. Where are your two laptops? Um, you know, Robert's is in his closet, mine is on the desk. Do you guys share a room? Yeah. Okay. So you have two. Do you use both of them, or one's an old one and one's, one's an old one? So you don't really use that? No, I was going to get uh, the hood guys and stuff. I see. And your newer one's on the desk? Yeah, next to the old one. And then Robert has two, but he has an old and new one? Yeah, yeah, the same, same thing. So I have an old compact, he has an old compact. Okay. What's your new one? Uh, gateway. And then laptops. what's Robert's new one? Also a gateway laptop okay. model. And where is his new one? Uh, in the closet, I think, with his old one. 
most other desks with my Okay. We were going, we were going on a plane, I got taken home to get out. Know, to take them with you or something? No, we oh, as old ones. Yeah, we were going to keep them. Yeah. We keep them to the Do you, um, does your laptop have like a passcode or password on it or something? Yeah, I can tell you the password you can use. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. What is it? Um, once I graduated high school, I changed it to a, like hashtag 2014 capital G grad. Capital G. Yeah, grad. Grad. G. G R A D. Yeah. And then G is capital. Hashtag 2014. I see. <coughs> Do you know the password on Roberts? No, I don't. And so is your, I may have asked you already, is, where's your knife now? Do you know? Or where my knife, all uh, my three knives are in my pocket. Where my pocket man? Oh, uh, when you got caught. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, so here's a problem that we might have, and, and I don't want it to be an issue for you because you've been really cooperative. Um, you know, we're going to talk to Robert too. So he's going to give us his version of the story, and, you know, sometimes they're going to be different. So um, is there anything? that you kind of didn't quite tell me right, or you changed a little bit, and now that you understand that Robert's going to tell me everything. I, I, yeah. But um, who could I tell you that I could forget of them? Because that's why I told him, you know, when we were sitting out in the woods, you know, to make conversation. But, you know, forensics will show you how they said Christopher. What three? What do you mean you told him? So you told him you killed three people? Yeah, I told him, because he asked me how many did you get, I said three. Did you tell him who you got? No, I just said three. Um. So do you, I, I guess this is my question for you. Do you think it's a lesser sentence if you killed one or if you killed three? No. Okay. What, I mean, I don't know. I, I think Robert, he may have, there's going to be a lot of differences. That's what I'm concerned about. And we don't want you to come off as a liar. I mean, because you've been real cooperative. You seem like a really good kid. You know, you graduated high school early. Um, you're designing games. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you got going on. And so I don't want people to get a bad opinion of you and think that you're the type of guy that lies to police when he's kind of caught. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so tell me, I know that you're leaving something out. There's, I mean, because it, it, it's like she said, um, you know, you're, this isn't like you stole a bicycle. You know, this is the most you can do, you know. So it's a big deal. Um, but a lot of people, when they talk and think about this thing, your honesty is a big deal, and how you handle yourself from here on out. And if you come off, because because to me you don't seem like a bad guy, you know, like you don't scare me. I, I mean, I never never thought you would have done this. So you just seem like a normal kid to me, and you seem like an honest kid. But see, I talk to people all the time, and I mean, I I know when people are lying or when when I'm not quite getting the whole story, and so I just want to catch you before you get in that bad spot where people start saying you're a bad guy, you're evil, you're a liar. So just tell me what I'm missing. Well, I mean, along with the do thing, I was uh, going to get on to, like, convincing the people who were still alive that, like, I was on the side, I called the police, you know, so they would, like, stay and I would get them. So they'd kind of stay on the ground and he'd, he'd be able to come stab them again? Yeah. Did you ever have to, um, <clears throat> go get Robert to let him know someone was still making too much noise or anything? No, no, it was, it was uh, chaotic. He was just going from person to person. So what yeah, kind so of things did you say to them? Uh, but, uh, the only things I uh, said to them was when I was trying to convince them that I was with them so they would, you know, come to me and could kill them. Okay. And that's all you think that he might tell me different? Is he going to lie to me? 
I don't know, I don't think he would lie because I'm pretty sure the only reason he's like he want he let himself get arrested and stuff like getting him major shootout and dying from the police is because he wants to see the aftermath. So I don't know what he's going to Oh, I see. So you think he may kind of just tell us what happened to him? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Did you guys talk about um, being on the news and getting to see each other on TV and stuff? Yeah. What kind of things did you say and talk about? Um, mostly about how we were playing on killing more people. You know, yeah. From the top. And um, we would become famous, we would get on Wikipedia lists. Oh, okay. People. That'd be a big deal, yeah. I mean, do you think they might even make a movie or something, or a TV show? I don't know about a movie or TV show, but... Uh, Did you guys talk about that? Yeah, definitely documentaries and stuff. Hmm. He just wanted to be famous. What did you want? Me? Mm -hmm. You keep talking about what he wanted, what did you want? I don't know, no, I just wanted to get my lunar pool, get a job. But you, I mean, your, your big brother's telling me he wants to be famous and you guys are making these plans. Surely you want some I, of that I fame do, too, right? Yeah, I do want to do it with him because like, he's going to do it no matter what. He says if I don't do it with him, they'll just kill me too. Or leave me there, so um, you know, I'll do it with him. Yeah. So y'all have been planning this since 30th of June, you said? Yeah. That's the first time y'all talked about it? Well, not the first time we talked about Blue. I mean, he bought us a light vest and he always said, you come out of the pillow and I, I think you don't do it, but... Yeah. Um, you need anything? Okay. We're going to step out for just a second. was right. The guys that are interviewing Robert um, kind of gave me a quick version of what he's saying that you did. Yeah. And, and you haven't told me everything. Okay. So I know you're not being completely honest and uh, I gave you one shot already. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what you might have said. I mean, um, well, you stabbed more than one person. So who else did you stab? stabbed more than just one time. Oh, I stabbed Christopher more than one time. How many times did you stab him? I think twice. Because you don't think we're going to know that? Stop I, thinking I and go with what you know. You mentioned forensics a minute ago. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm just one of like hundreds of people that are going to look at this thing, okay? I know. I mean, we got, we got the state police coming in. Uh, there's, I don't know, 20 different forensic detectives at your house right now. 
Um, they're going to be there a long time because of the scene that it is. So everybody that you killed and every single stab wound that you inflicted, we're going to know about. And this is your last chance to just kind of let us know, to be honest, to man up and tell us exactly what you did and, and start making it right. I had Christopher. I did not stab Victoria with Daniel. You did not stab Victoria? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, um, I think I had to stab mom. You stabbed mom? I think, yeah, I, I, when she was walking away, I think I had to go for a night, but, you know. Is that when you cut yourself? Then? Yeah, I think I'd have to do that. Where did you stab her? I think I had to go from behind it. Did you cut her? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You, this doesn't seem like something you have to think about. I know it's, it's I, you're still kind of dealing with it. Um, and I wasn't there, I wasn't the one doing it. But you don't have to think about it. Yeah. You know what you did. So you, you cut her neck, you stabbed Christopher in the neck. How many times did you stab Christopher? Two or three, I think. And who else did you stab? Besides Mom. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing. Everybody's been stabbed. And you both had knives. And we know you both stabbed everybody. So you guys are kind of at the same level. And so now it's, who's going to be honest and make this right? And who's a liar? Okay, which one do you want to be? I'm not a liar. Okay, so you're a man of your word? Yes. Okay. Do you want to make this right and do the right thing at this point in time? Yes. Okay. What else okay. are you missing? You want to start over then? Come on. You you tell us where you need to start. He stabs. I didn't stab. I was stabbed to a twelve foot window. What about the crossbow? The crossbow. Yeah. Um. It was pulled back, like it didn't have a bolt to it or anything. I had to fire it and broke. It so, broke? Yeah, I know that's how you use it. It's broke. It's cheap. So it was a broke before last night? Um, it broke and I had to uh, you know, to guy to fire it because I wasn't able to do anything and yeah, I just need to unclock it. It's like when I went around the apple to get in this thing, you know. And that was a while ago or that was last night? Oh, that was last night. Because you were supposed to use it. I was supposed to use it. I was caught back and I wasn't going to use it, so I had to, you know, clock in and look. So nobody's going to have any crossbow injuries? Nope. No, they're not. Okay. What about the big knife, the machete? Did that get used on somebody? I think he might have used it on Daniel. I think that's what he might have used to stab him in the chest. And what about the surgical blade knife? Yeah, I think that's what he still wants to do with, too. So yeah, I think he used all of them. I only used the one. I used the, um, the green one. You only used the green one? Yeah. And you're sticking to that? Yes. And so, we only stabbed, you only stabbed the, your family because they were in the way? Not, towards the bigger plan? Um, not, well, the reason we used to kind of kill family is, uh -huh. um, they were in the way, and uh, you know, how you count. That's a parable. Just to start off with a big count. So, um, so is this all a game? I mean, this higher count, how can you, is this a game? It's a, more like to kind of become famous, kind of get, you know, set a record. Did you, now, because you said, you said this yourself, you told Robert you killed three, yep. and so now we're stuck at the point where you've told us you stabbed Christopher and your mother. Mm -hmm. Is there one more person that you stabbed? And, and you didn't mention earlier? No. Okay. I, I can stick to my one that I, I ain't stabbed anybody else, but it's probably nothing. How do, how do you feel about what you've done now? I, I didn't like it the minute it started. I, to I mean, how do you feel about your mother? I mean, you, I mean she, you watched her get stabbed, you, you cut her throat yourself. And you watched her bleed all over the place and scream. How does that make you feel? No, I don't think about it. You don't want to think about it. And Christopher, your little brother. I mean, you stabbed him in the neck. Yeah. What, what has he ever done to you? Yes. So he's just a number. Yes. And how does? I mean, how do you feel about that now? It's pointless. It's what? Pointless. Pointless.
do you, um, do you, would you be willing to write us a statement kind of explaining what we just talked about? Yeah. Um, kind of start at the beginning. Papers. Like. Paper. I don't know if I can get that long. Um, yeah, pen and paper is what I'm talking about. Okay. I've got these forms that you can write on. Um, you think you could do that for me? Sure, like about what? Well, what I would want you to kind of write down is basically what we talked about. Is okay. Like kind of talking about the plans that you guys put together, the stuff that you got, that he bought, that he bought for you, um, and then what you're going to do, and then what happened last night. Yeah, like a little timeline. Yeah, just basically like a timeline. Kind of like your story, like almost you're writing it for a, a book or a magazine or something. some of this for you first. Right. So you think the first time he ever talked to you about killing people was how long ago? First time he ever mentioned killing people, I don't know, it might have been 2013 to 2014. Okay, so we'll okay. Um, so you're going to put, it says I have the other sign, so you're going to put your name right there for me. So go ahead and write your name there. Okay. And then it says Anne, and it wants to know how old you are in years. Okay, like 16. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's and then it says, um, that's fine, we know. You were born on, so put your date of birth right here. Okay, like, um, however, it doesn't matter, however you want to do it. And the guns were supposed to be picked up from where? Oh, uh, you know, gun shop. It's uh, down the road, about seven miles. And then, uh, On L? Yeah. Put your address there, and you can come to the next line if you need to, if you need a room. Nice. And what was the name of that website? Uh, Bud's Gun Shop and the official Mossville website, I think. Like, no, yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's see. So, let me, I'll use this other pen too. Uh, so, put my name on here. So you know. Okay, so here's what it says I've been duly warned and advised by Eric Pence a person who has identified himself as a detective that I do not have to make any statement at all nor answer any questions or do anything that might go against me or incriminate me in any manner and any statement I make can will be used against me. I was also advised I'm not able to, if I'm not able to hire an attorney on my request and have an attorney appointed for me by the proper authority without cause or charge to me. I do not want to talk to an attorney, and I hereby knowingly and purposely waive my right to the advice and presence of an attorney before and during any questioning or at any time before or while I voluntarily make the following statement to the aforesaid person, knowing that anything I say can be used against me in the court or courts of law. I declare that the following voluntary statement is made to the aforesaid person of my own free will without promise or hope of reward, without fear or threat of physical harm, without coercion, favor or offer of favor, without leniency by any person or persons whoever. Okay. Do you understand all that? Yes. Okay. Um, so what you can do is, uh, yeah, you can write here and then if you run out of space, just jump over here and write here. If you run out of space here, let me know. I've got more of these. So and just do your best. If, don't worry about spelling. If you misspell something, it's not a big deal. This pen, this pen is like, what is that? You will try that one. That one might be better. That one seem kind of crappy too, though. Is that one better? Yeah. Okay.
Do you guys have any other family that lives here? Like um, grandparents? I got this area. Anywhere? Um, I have an uncle and two grandmas and various cousins. And Where do your grandmas live? Whoa, I don't know, they're moving out of 
um, I think it was in Florida and once in Greenfield. Um, Do you know their names? Besides just yeah. grandma? Um, yeah. Do you know either of their phone numbers? Um, I'm sure you can uh, contact of the phone. Okay. Um, and is she the one in Springfield or? Oh, she's the one in Florida. Florida? Uh, if she's still in Florida, she might be in, uh, she might be in Kansas with my aunt. Okay. What's the aunt in Kansas' name? Um, Brown. Brown, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, does anybody live local? Oh, uh, yeah, my uncle. What's your uncle's name? Uh, Do you know about where he lives? Um, not that neighborhood. It's like um, is it like up north from y'all? Like maybe Thirty First Street, Twenty Fourth Street, Twenty Fourth and Hundred Forty Fifth? Yeah, I don't remember. But I'd have to find it first. Oh, um, this. Uh, about how much more in your statement you got? Um, I don't know, about halfway through. Mm -hmm.
more play right now, okay?
writing? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you need another page.
April Shimon, right? What does this say? Um, when Listen, what are you doing? That's what she was saying.